back to my channel where I make videos about tech, unboxing, product reviews, events, and some fun stuff. And for this video, I will be sharing with you my experience in taking Harvard CS50's Introduction to Computer Science course. And we are now in week two. We made it in week two. And if you are interested to see what week two is like, please keep on watching. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, guys, so we made it to week two now and before I get started with this week about arrays I'm gonna talk a little bit about week one I am gonna give a quick recap on how week one was and talk about the problem sets and labs because I don't think I talked about it in the previous video and if you want to check that out the video is also on my channel so week one was more about the fundamentals and introduction to basic programming concepts and terminologies like data types, operators, conditional statements, loops, and we were also introduced to the C language. So for the lab on week one, we were taught how to use the C programming language and for the very first lab, it's very simple. It's just how to display a basic output just like a text message and that's just to show us what the syntax is for C and how printing is like. The problem set got a little challenging for this week. This is a lot more of problem solving. Okay, so there was a lot going on on week one because there's a lot of terms and a lot of concepts and also learning the C programming language. This week, I think it's gonna teach us a specific topic in programming, which is arrays. So let's check out the lecture for this now. So this is CS50, and this is week two, wherein we're going to dive in a little more deeply to C, this new language, and we're also going to take a look back at some of the concepts we looked at last week so that you can better understand some of the features of C and some of the, the steps you've been taking to make your code work. Okay, so this lecture is going to be two hours and 24 minutes long, and it's all about arrays. So now I'm done with lectures on arrays and it lasted for 2 hours and 24 minutes and I really love how Harvard teaches the class and how they present their lectures. They really lay out the foundation on how stuff works, uh, also underneath the hood and they really don't just jump on the terms or the concepts right away and make sure they explain and on his lecture he didn't just jump on what arrays are and what they are used for he explained what is underneath the hood and how the programming works with along with the hardware so actually the lecture started with how memory is related to creating programs I didn't realize how hardware or memory is really important when you are programming because I really thought that it's just all about the software and coding. It really was explained how memory is integral when writing programs and developing software. Last week, we learned about the different data types like integer, string, float, char. And now he explained in this lecture how defining data types takes up an amount of space in the memory which really makes sense because if you are trying to define an integer for example you are actually in reality storing and allocating space in the memory so that's what the lecture is all about talking about array and how it is used and what the syntax for array is in c programming language okay so after the lecture 
There is also short videos on specific topics like functions, variables and scope, arrays, command line arguments, and these are more in-depth and has more details and explanation of the syntax. And it gives you more knowledge on what was discussed in the lecture. Okay, it's lab time now. We are done with the lectures and the short videos, so it's time to put all of the concepts into application. So the lab that we are given for this week on Aries is called Scrabble, and I'm guessing this is the same as the board game. The instruction is to determine which of two Scrabble words is worth more. So we are gonna use an array for this problem, to solve this problem. And arrays are helpful for this because it stores a value for each of the letters. Because in Scrabble game, for each letter there is a corresponding point. And I guess we are gonna store all of that in the array. Okay, so there's a lot of guide in all of the labs in CS50 course. They give you a lot of hints and there's also a walkthrough video for every labs and problem sets. And if you are having a hard time solving it or struggling, there is also this link where you can see another video and it gives you the actual code and solution to the problem. Since this is only a lab and this is for practice and exercise, they give you the solution so you can learn from it and use it for the problem sets, which are more challenging and harder. Okay, so after the lab, there is a problem set and these are more challenging and tougher than the labs and they don't tell you what the solution is for this one. So you have to do your own research and really think of the logic on how to solve the problems. So for this problem set, there are two problems given. First is about readability and one of these two. So let's check readability out. So what the program does is that you are going to be given a text just like this one and then the output is it's going to show you what grade level your reading comprehension is based on the text given to you. So, so the program is going to ask you for a text and you're going to input the text and you are going to get an output of the grade level. So for the next problem set, there are two options. One if you are less comfortable and one is if you are more comfortable. I always go for the less comfortable one because I'm still struggling with the C language. So let's go for the easier one. Problem set two is encrypting messages using Caesar cipher. So if you type in a plain text, you are gonna get the cipher text. So this is basically encrypting a plain text and you get the cipher text as an output in here. And since this is also a string, this is considered an array and uh, you can manipulate the array for the text that will be inputted. So in here, they would give you the formula actually on how to cipher the text so you don't have to worry about that. You just have to worry about structuring your program to make it work. Okay, so that were the problem set for week two for Aries. And I know that it won't just take me a few hours to finish all the labs and the problem sets because I am still learning how to use C and learning all about this programming stuff. So it might take me two or three days or probably a week. So I am just going to keep you updated if I have finished the problem sets and if I have uh, submitted the requirements for this class. Okay, so I have compiled my code and as you can see, I have red in here which means error. So for you to get a perfect score for this lab, everything should be green and smiley face so i got like a few errors in here because it doesn't work on some words it doesn't cipher some words for some reason all right so i've been trying to figure out the cipher 
code that I've been working on and I gave up and I just submitted it and I got 79% out of it and that's still a passing score. I think I'm fine with the 79% because 70% is the passing score and you just need to have passing score in all of the problem set for you to get your certification okay so that would be it for this video for cs50 introduction to computer science week two arrays and i'll see you guys in my next video for week three and i hope you enjoyed watching and you have learned something from this video thank you so much